Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Well, it's February 1. Time to start our small scale group build. What did you guys help me pick out? Stick around. Okay guys, first up, thank you so much for helping me choose the small scale project for this year. Um, when this started, y'all, between your comments, your emails, and your Facebook messages, it was pretty even all the way through, and then one just whew, took off past the others. Um, in the end, it was the Nova that won out. Um, surprisingly, these two stayed really close together, the IndyCar and the Ferrari, but you know what? The great thing is, I've got more to build, so I don't have to buy another one next year unless something just, I see something that just uh -huh. uh like for example uh the 32nd scale um um ah, what do you call it? uh funny car funny car um y'all i'm milking this this head injury so <laughs> anyway so we're gonna do the nova so i went by the hobby shop after i tallied everything up this morning uh i gave some thought to what i wanted to do and started cutting everything off the sprue so it's desprued and Made a little bit of a plan, dashed by the hobby shop, as I said, and picked up some paint, primer, some stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cover up that red, which is a task in itself, but we'll get to that. But uh, after I use most of my primers and get it water sanded smooth, uh, I go back before my color coat with the fine surface primer. And you know, to me, it makes regular primer, and they make the fine surface primer. I use the fine before I put the color coat down. And it, the pigments are a lot smaller. It gives a much smoother, smoother finish, to my taste anyway. A lot of guys, y'all y'all stick with what works for you. Uh, also picked up some uh, more clear coat, interior color, and I think this is going to look pretty good with this orange. And this is not just a bright orange. This Well, it says brilliant orange, but see, it's, it almost looks like a pale it's not that real bright orange orange, but I thought that with that interior would look really good. And I want to custom it just a little bit. I thought about doing it just straight stock. And I thought, no, I think I want to do just an edge of sleeper kind of uh, hot rod. And I even thought about Pro Street. Uh, I've got a call in to Miguel at Hobby Works, and he's done some custom 30 second scale for the stock car, remember? And I'm um, going we'll to talk to him about uh, something unique anyway. <laughs> uh, also, while I was there, went ahead and picked up a uh, fresh pack of bare metal foil. And also, oh, oh, I found this. This is not 30-second uh, scale related, but if you have not used these before, this is the Detail Master Stock Car Hood Hinge Set. Let me get the camera down here where you can see it. This stuff is awesome. And they make the hood pins for it as well. But check that out. Is that not cool? You got two different styles of hood hinges. You've even got the little, uh, well, it's kind of hard to see there. The little uh, sections where the, the hinges are and then the braces underneath. Anyway, uh, another one of those for the photo etch pile. And I also found this. Years ago, back in the uh, 80s and 90s, when I would buff out a car, uh, I would use some, it was in a little glass jar about that big around. It was called the treatment. Well, here's the treatment. It's back. I hope it's the same compound, compound and the same stuff. You have a buffing compound, uh, buffing cream as they're calling it, and then you've got the actual wax. I've never used this model mist wipes uh, for display cleaner that kind of stuff I've never used that and we, we may take a look at it but i think i'll do a product review on on this particular using this particular car too when we buff it out uh this here's some pictures of a couple of cars and the kind of results i got using this stuff uh back in the day and you see it really really worked well i'm sold on novus right now but i'm glad to see this back i'm going to give this a shot see if it uh if it does like it used to do, um, would love love it if it did. Uh, big thing I don't like about it is they're in these little packets you squeeze out, and how are you going to seal that back up? Because I I used a couple of jars of treatment over the years, and you know you seal it right back up. But anyway, okay, 
on the Nova, what we're going to do is I've got everything, as I said, trimmed off of the spruce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few things together, uh, lay them aside, and then we're going to talk about um, the direction we're going to go. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, this Atlantis uh, 69 Nova is the first Atlantis kit that I have built in the 32nd scale, the small scale. And I know in this uh, Route 32 series, I think there, I'm pretty sure there's a Camaro. I think it's an 83 Camaro, and I think there's a 70 Firebird. I'm not sure about that, but I know, I'm pretty sure there's two other, at least two, there may be more uh, cars in this series. But this one, um, I don't know, how do you not like a Nova? So, <laughs> um, I have been impressed with what I've taken apart so far. Uh, the comprehensive instruction sheet, uh, you've got your color chart, um, Again, it's pretty comprehensive. I don't usually use these other than to soak up paint more than anything else if I'm hand painting anything. But I want to share some of the parts with you real quick. Uh, I have not taken the clear parts out of the uh, bag, but as you see, it's pretty pretty detailed. And you can see the, the headlights there. And it uh, looks pretty good. Um... The rally wheels, the stock rally wheels, and uh, it's really hard to see those. But um, they really look good. Let me take the camera down see if I can get close enough to give you a good look. They're very, very well engraved and uh, plated. I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different with these. Um, I'm not really sure. I talked to Miguel. I told you I had a call into him, and since uh, then I've talked to him. And I'm thinking about, um, he said it was no problem whatsoever to scale down one of his uh, 572s or his uh, 632s, as well as he's going to send me some options on some... Uh, Pro Street tires, things like that, and uh, tire wheel combos as well. But uh, I thought I'd make a sleeper out of it with that stuff. Uh, as I said before, the chrome is pretty much to scale there. I mean, look at that. Looks really good. But I'm thinking about doing something where the bumpers are going to be body color. And I'm not, I, I'm really not sure about that yet either. But check that out. I mean, this stuff looks really good. Pretty crisp chrome. Uh, the other chrome parts, you've got the stock breather, which, I mean, check that out. Everything looks really, really good. And, of course, a lot of this stuff's going to be stripped. There's the brake booster and uh, master cylinder. And, of course, that'll have to be stripped, too. A couple things I went ahead and put together. The uh, steering column had to be put in. Uh, really nice engraving for something this small on the steering wheel. Let me drop that in there. Um, but it looks really good. The firewall is a separate piece, so we'll be adding that. It kind of just drops right in little slot here and there you go so you can do your detail painting before you put it in which I like that uh, fan shroud I'm gonna leave a lot of this stuff off until we get an idea of, of about the, the the alternate engine uh, you've got some blocks if you want to jack up the rear end a little bit it gives you in the instructions as you see here different stances so you got some blocks here to raise that rear end and exhaust system. Not sure I'm going to use the stock exhaust system. I may use my solder, as you saw in uh, the Barracuda build, how I scratch built all of, of that using solder. But I'm not sure yet. I may use this uh, still in those early stages here. I, let me show you something I thought was really cool. On this hood, you see the rib that goes down the center. And one of the options in here, even though it only comes with stock tires, was this scoop. And it's a good, like, older, old school uh, scoop. But can you see 
Well, I think you were better that way. You see the notch in the middle? If it'll focus. There you go. A little notch in the middle, in the front, and in the back. And that's for that little ridge that runs down the middle. Check this out. Even though I'm not going to use this, I thought it was pretty cool that they allowed... Look at that. Light, nice and flat lays right on that. So you keep that stock uh, look. Rear end, if I tub it, I'm going to have to take the leaf springs off and I'll have to put some four links. I, I'll, I'll figure out something on that. Uh, stock fan, if I go with a big big block, I'm going to uh, probably use an N-gauge or maybe even a Z-gauge um, fan to put in there. Front A-arms. And the engine I put together, oh, and there's your uh, fan belt and pulley system, which actually is not bad. And I went ahead and put together the top part of the 350 that comes with it. And I say the top part because the bottom portion is actually molded pretty crisply to the chassis. Let me get down here in the light a little bit better, too. There we go. If I can not knock the camera around here a minute. But you see that's uh, pretty crisply engraved. And this, now that it's, uh, there's three pieces right here, as you see in the instructions. You got the block halves and then the upper section, which is the intake uh, part of the heads and the valve covers. And it just, bam, right on there. And uh, it actually... Doesn't really look too bad, but I'm I'm really am thinking about uh, going that that other way with the bigger bigger engine kind of thing. Well engraved on the bottom. I'm really impressed with this, and, and I probably will cut all this away and make it one unit. Uh, that way, I can get rid of seam lines, all that stuff. Then I can, if I do end up using this, I can just drop it back in. But I really think I'm going to go the other way. Uh, radiator hose. So, this is pretty nice. The interior tub is pretty basic. Uh, there's a place for the shifter. It's like a four-speed looking shifter, but I'm going to maybe doing something different with that. Um, you can see the, the carpet texture down in there. And then the seats, package shelf. Um, nice dash, too, by the way. Uh, I showed you that with the... Uh, yeah, there it is nice engraving in it after I put the uh, uh, steering column in. You can see the nice engraving in there for the vents, speedometer, all of that stuff. So I'll rescribe some of that too so we don't lose any detail. Um, front seats. The bucket seats. Um, let's see if I can find them here. Here we go. You see there's no back on them. They're kind of hollow up in there. So I am going to take some sheet plastic, and I'm going to just, um, and I'll show you when I do that, but I'm going to lay that down on a piece of sheet plastic, and I'll trace that out. Uh, then we'll cut it out, and we'll get that glued on the back so we have a back on there. It'll look, it'll look better than that little hollow place going in the back of it there. And lastly, the body. Uh, in that I'm going to do this a mild hot rod, street rod custom. I'm going to remove a lot of this stuff, the... Uh, the scripts, the Nova scripts, the marker lights. Uh, I did this with my Mercury years ago, too. Uh, thinking about taking the door handles off, I'm not really sure about that yet. Make it more of like a, the custom pop-a-lock type thing. And, of course, you've got your regular mold lines here. And then the, on the trunk, what I'll need to remove back there. But you've got the mold lines from the factory here and down each of the fenders. And they're pretty pretty noticeable on the fenders. This back here you almost can't feel, uh, but you can see it. And with that thin primer I'm gonna put on it. If I pro street it, I probably, I'll tub the chassis, but I'll probably open up this wheel well just a touch more. Um, but we'll see. And then there's your injection pin marks where it was uh, molded. But I'll clean all that up and smooth it out too. And after I get all that done, we're going to get this primed. And then the next uh, video, we'll see some primer. I'll probably go ahead and try to um, 
I'll go ahead and paint that engine and get some of it done, but uh, I'm really waiting on uh, Miguel. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. By the way, if you have not visited Miguel at Hobby Works, it's H-O-B-B-I-W-E-R-K-S. I've got some of his uh, both 30-second scale and uh, in the NASCAR stuff, he's custom done for me, and he is one of the most reasonable people that you will find online, and if you want to purchase the files, he sells them uh, as well. So uh, this will be a simple kit and probably a relatively quick bill. We've got the whole month, but I want to get some of the basics of it out of the way and done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, guys, thanks for tagging along on this one. Um, got a couple other videos that will be hitting in the next day or so. Uh, and I'm way behind on some of those anyway. But thanks for your support and following along, guys. I appreciate you more than you know. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, head over and hit that sub button. Hit the notification bell. Give us a like. And we will see you in the next video. God bless, guys. See you later.